Hi, I thought I'd just bring you back for a quick update on my Venus fly traps and how they've, oh, it's got full of water there, big drip of water, how they've um, done with different things. So this one had a slice of tomato and it's reopened. I don't know that it's going to open again, but it's reopened. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out, that slice of tomato, because it's finished it, I think. And it's just the skin, look. Let's bring it up here and show you. Oh, it's, it's a bit gooey, but it's because it's wet. But I think it's actually eaten that, or absorbed a lot of it. So the tomato, slice of tomato, it's eaten. This is just results, all right? There is a little bit of goo there, but it's mostly eaten that. And I'm just going to wash my tongs, <laughs> wipe them in my trousers. Now I'm just going to finish taking that little bit off. Now whether the trap will work again and whether it's set to work again, I don't know. There's the blackberry and that's opened up as well and that looks like it's dried out. So I'm going to try and just take that out as well. There we go, got it out. Let's have a look at it. Well it's done quite well. It's taken a lot of the juice out or the majority of the juice. Obviously it hasn't dissolved the pulp but it's a lot drier than it was. It was an actual full blackberry and there's probably a little bit left in there, but it's, it's eaten the majority of it. Now let's carry on a minute. Because in there in the middle, you can see the tomato. Now the tomato has been absorbed, but the, the Venus fly trap, the trap itself has decayed. So I presume, let's take that one out. There we go. Now that one had a big chunk of tomato in, or it was, it was a whole tomato, I think. No, it was a whole tomato that it had squashed over a week. I can't go any closer. There we go. And it's done that to it, and it's dissolved, and it's uh, absorbed it into it, but the Venus flytrap has then broken down. So there you go, you can see that one. Let's have a look at anything else. Um, the snail is being eaten. There's a wasp there that's being eaten. There's some traps open. What's that one got in it? Look. Oh, that's got fish food in and that's opened up as well. I suppose they have a time limit to <laughs> to how long they eat them. Um, there's another trap there. There's one there that's shut. So there's a wasp left and a snail that's being eaten. The rest of them have eaten them. The tomatillo, that's left, that's there, look, and that's still shut, so it's still absorbing that. But everything else has been eaten. Tomato, blackberry, another tomato slice. I thought I'd just do you a little update because uh, I think it's good to know what's happened and whether they've actually eaten them or not. So are carnivorous plants a little bit omnivorous as well? Well, here it looks like, yes, a little bit but only because they've been forced to. Cheers.